friends. I'm here at Target and I'm very excited. Very, like genuinely very excited for this video today. I am shopping for decor. I normally don't decorate because I have a lot going on. I'm a mom of six under six. We have a busy, busy life right now. But I thought I'm going to tap into my decorating potential and decorate one room this year. I'm going to decorate my husband and my bedroom for Valentine's Day. And that's going to be in a separate video. I'm going to check what they have at the dollar spot, which is actually kind of new for me. I know a lot of people find things at the dollar spot at Target, but I typically, if I'm going to get anything decorating wise, I typically go to Hobby Lobby because it's closer to me and I really love it there. But I thought for something different, I'm going to go to Target. I'm here by myself today. My husband is home with the kids and they're all napping. This type of thing is actually a lot better to do alone, <laughs> as you can imagine. Wow, there are a lot of people staring at me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not even kidding. There's like a lot of people here today. It is Saturday, so. Anyway, normally I don't enjoy going places by myself because I don't like to drive. And I'm actually kind of curious if like, who watching actually enjoys driving? Leave it in the comments. Start a conversation. I don't like to drive. And I, I, I think maybe the majority of people don't like to drive, but maybe that's just, like maybe people actually like it. My husband likes to drive. I don't know. Is it a personality thing? I really don't know. I know there are certain people who shouldn't be driving, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my shopping. So here we go. Okay, it's really noisy in here, but I'm gonna try my best with this whole shopping thing and immediately I am intrigued by this throw. I don't think it's in the right spot, but I absolutely love the color of this. I would love to find out how much this is so I can let you guys know. Also, I might wanna buy it. <laughs> now, looking for Valentine's decor. This is cute. I really do, I love mugs. Oh, so it's a mug and a pet bowl. I don't have a pet. So far, I'm not seeing much as far as Valentine's Day decor goes in this Target dollar spot, but there are a few things. Now, I am decorating a bedroom, so I really like this. Five dollars? It's not bad. And I like this, and I, I do believe that. Kitchen is the heart of the home. I believe that whole heartedly. Oh boy. And yeah, like I said, I'm not decorating the kitchen, so oh well, but I could always buy these for another time. This is cute. Nice. Let's see what this is down here. Oh, a bath tray. That's not Valentine's. Over here we have these felt baskets. Everything's kind of a mess. Looks like it was picked through quite a bit. I love fuzzy socks, but I don't really like the, these um, low, low, low cut ones. This is cute, a metal sign. And what do they have down here? This is cute too. This is dry erase apparently, I guess. Yeah, how much is that? $3, nice. This is down here, this is a mixing bowl. <laughs> Funniest mixing bowl I've ever seen. It has a heart up there, that's nice. Oh, I was looking for something like this. I wanted a glass candy jar for Valentine's Day and this one's probably like, what, five, yeah, $5. But I don't like that, um, the font and the heart and I don't know. I might just get a plain one. I don't know. There's this one as well, which is also $5. Then there are these rainbows. That's cute for like a little girl's room or something. Are these bath bombs? Yep. I like those crowns. This throw blanket, by the way, I thought I should just show you guys. It says right there, $5. Seriously though, this is the dollar spot right now. Very picked through and just, it's very disappointing. And there's not a lot in the way of Valentine's decor anyway. So let's move on. Oh, I swung over to Michael's, which is in the same parking lot. I'm going to quick check what they have in here. If there ain't anything, then I see Ross up there as well. I'm not going to wander too much around in this area because I'm not familiar with it. And again, I'm not great at driving. I'm not great at direction. And I'm not belittling myself, by the way. I'm just not gifted in those areas. I'm gifted in other ways, but not that. Anyway, here we go. Looks like I will need a cart. 
Looks like they have some Christmas clearance here too. But right off the bat, there's more Christmas clearance and more Christmas clearance. I might have to shop for Christmas too. But I see they have pillows, so it gives me hope that I could find something for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day and Christmas obviously both use reds, so this is a Christmas, but it looks like it could easily be Valentine's Day. Doesn't even have any words on it. I don't know. And obviously it would be a lot cheaper because these are 70 flipping percent off. Here we go, another red pillow. Let's see, $24.99 here in the US and nothing on it. No words. That would be 70% off. That's a really good deal. And look, buffalo plaid is that. And nothing on the back. Again, this is like just a regular hello for $24.99. So what is 70% off of that? I really don't know. This is nice. And now I'm getting sucked up into the Christmas decor, which I should not be doing. I digress, as usual. Oh, I like this, but it has glitter. Okay, clearly this is Christmas, but what a good good deal that would be. Now is the time to be shopping for Christmas, you know? Garland, there's all kinds of garland here. I didn't even get to do a Christmas shop with me this year, so maybe this will be my Christmas shopping video. Generations of love, this is nice. Okay, I'm just kidding. Moving on. We have to find some Valentine's Day. And <gasps> Ooh, flowers. What is this even for? Since we are in Michaels, there's a lot of crafting supplies. So it could really be anything, quite frankly. It says wall decor, $14.99. Actually, that would go with the theme of our bedroom anyway. I've got a lot of roses in our bedroom, so it's gonna be perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay, moving on. Look at this tree skirt. Oh, I like it. So much Christmas. Look what I found. Finally, some Valentine's Day. I was seeing St. Patrick's Day and no Valentine's Day. I was gonna say, <laughs> this one comes first, guys. XOXO. All you need is love and coffee for all the coffee lovers. $9.99, I don't like coffee, but it's cute. Seriously, is that it for Valentine's Day? Look how much they had for Christmas. Where's the Valentine's Day stuff? Now I gotta, I gotta find it. There's gotta be more. I just had a thought that maybe I could buy some yarn to make a little, um, whatever you call those things, trivet, I don't even know, to put the candy jar on. That would be kind of nice if I can find something. These ones are nice. I can go with a thicker option, definitely not for this, but that'd be nice for a blanket. This is maybe not my color, but I like this, uh, the feel of it. I think I like this one. Now I have to get a needle. I just spoke with an employee and she said that is all I have in the way of Valentine's Day, so bummer. But of course I'm gonna take another look at the Christmas decor before I leave. People are staring. My husband's gonna love that if I come home with uh, a car full of Christmas garland, although I really like it. I'm not really sure. I don't know what to do. I better get out of here. So I went over to Ross, which is right next to Target, and I was chit-chatting on the phone, so that's why I, I didn't film coming in, but I just walked in and I saw these throw blankets. I gotta show you. Like, these ones are so soft, but they're just okay. I love this one, so I don't care if it's like a million dollars, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, so it's not quite a million, it is $19.99. So gorgeous. They also have XOXO, and I was curious what this one was. I think it probably says something about love, but it's like way too smushed in there to tell. Then over here we have butter dishes and everything. Wow, there's just like so much here. Check out these bowls. See me? <laughs> there I am. And these are, they have measurements on the inside. I think that's pretty handy. And that is, I don't know what the price is, $7.99 for those. Down here they have this like gift set thing. I think these, yeah, these come with it. It's in the front there. And that is how much? This is $12.99. And then pot holders. These are cute. Cupcake papers and um, little decorations to put in them. Here's some trays and lollipops. Saw some pillows over here because I really wanted a nice pillow. Love you more. That's. That's nice. Hearts on the back. Look at that St. Patrick's Day garland. But we're not here for that. I just spent $100 at Michael's for Christmas decor, which I shouldn't have been buying. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a price on that pillow. It's kind of dirty and it feels 
kind of weird on my dry skin. Look at this. This pillow goes so well with the throw blanket. Yeah, that's nice. Love is in the air. That's cute. The um, bike on it. Let's see. And this one's only $9.99 versus these ones for $12.99. And like on that side. That's a nice one too. I had to go check that out. By the way, there's a pet bed, I guess, that is down here. And all these other cushions and pillows. This is the other side. Give you an overview here. And this is the pillow. I noticed. I like it. And that's, I think that's $10.99 it said. So nice. This big pillow has a stain right here. Otherwise, it would be so cute to put across the bed. Here are some dish towels. More candy. Celebrate love. Those marshmallows are super huge and super cute. More kitchen things. These are Star Wars spatulas, towels, cute little bags, and looks like maybe puppy shirts. By the way, I absolutely love this little sofa. I guess you call it a sofa. I was called a couch, but it's so tiny, so I don't know if it's for kids or what, but it's so cute. $159.99. Totally not Valentine's Day, but I just saw it and had to show you. I just got out of Ross. I'd say it was pretty successful. I just haven't found everything quite that I want for the bedroom. So I'm going to buy the last few things I think on Walmart, Walmart's website, maybe, I don't know. I have to see, but I'm gonna get home now and I've got quite the haul. I've got some big bags back there and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi friends. This is like a couple days later. When I got home, I did not have time to film a haul for you. So I'm doing that now. <laughs> Look how cute she is. How cute the baby is. Say hi, baby. Anyway, so the first thing is from, this would be from Target, from Target Dollar Spot. In hindsight, I probably should have picked up two of these. I actually really like it. I love the color of it. But one will have to do. I think it's it's uh, quite pleasing to the eyeballs. What else did I get at Target? Oh, I got that throw blanket at Target, but we already used it. And I'm not using it for Valentine's Day, so whatever. I got this pillow I wound up getting from Michael's, which is a Christmas pillow. It was on Christmas clearance. I don't think I'm actually going to use it for Valentine's Day. I might either put it away with the decor for future holidays or give it to my son Owen. He really wants it. Also at Michael's, if you'll remember, I was looking at yarn and I wound up getting pink yarn, which I don't have to show you because I made this trivet with it and um, you have to cut this part off. But anyway, I have this in a video, like I filmed making it. It took me about a half an hour probably because I'm, I'm pretty rusty. <laughs> I haven't had a lot of time for crocheting. I don't know if you remember, I have like a hundred kids, <laughs> but I made this and then after that, one of my kids wanted me to make them a hat. So I used up all the yarn. Also at Michael's, I did wind up getting a bunch of Christmas clearance items and I filmed it, put it on Instagram, I'll leave the little name and my Instagram handle right here and so you can go watch it if you want. I created a highlight bubble. I think I titled it Halls. So if you're interested to see what I got for Christmas, go check that out. I wound up getting pillows from Ross. So I got two of those and then I got the throw blanket. So these are, like I said, super cute. I love them and everything, but the coloring, I'm just not sure. I'm still going to use these. Like I'll decorate around this color and I will I'll do what I can, but basically like I, a red probably wouldn't look good with this and a lot of Valentine's Day, Day things are red. So if I do red, it's gonna be like across the room. I don't know, I'm not that great with decorating, but we'll see, I'm trying my hand at it, like I said. I ordered some Valentine's Day decor from Walmart and some things they were out of, but I got this just in case they were out of the other garland I wanted and I don't particularly care. Like it wouldn't be my first choice to have this garland, but I thought just for something extra, this was my first choice of garland. And they wound up having it, which I was surprised at because I went back and looked and said it was out of stock, but probably because I got the last one, I'm assuming. And I just really like it. Isn't it cute? I had ordered one of these and then one smaller one, which they didn't have. So they substituted and they gave me two of the same size. And you could see there's a little spot there. I could put like a tea light um, candle in it, which they also didn't have. So I reordered them. So I'll see if I can get them. I ordered like a 50 pack and a six pack, I think. Cause you can never have too many candles, right? <laughs> Especially the tea light kind, I don't know. And then from Walmart, I also got this love wooden letters. Um, I thought they were red, 
when I looked online, but they are almost like a dark mauve plum, whatever, not plum, but you know, they're not like, they're not the ideal color, I guess, but we'll make it work. Like I said, red wouldn't really necessarily look good with these throw blankets or the throw blanket and the pillows and stuff, but uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just doing some red in a certain area and then, I don't know, I'll try to tie it all together and make it look goodish. Lastly, I picked up a big old box of chocolates. I did not know it was going to be this stinking huge, but my husband loves these boxes of chocolates, so I thought that would kind of be nice just to have, um, maybe I'll put it somewhere, display it. I don't really know. Obviously, we're going to eat it, I'm sure, eventually, but it's pretty, so there. Going to count it as decor. So I guess that's it for the Valentine's Decor Haul. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and um, just being a part of my channel, subscribing, supporting me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try and post as many videos as I can here. I'm probably going to do two to three times a week. Be sure to be on the lookout for my um, bedroom decorating video. It's not going to be amazing, but I'm going to try my best. Stay tuned for that. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.